Patients needing transplants are dying waiting for organ donors, and unfortunately, the situation is getting worse. But with the discovery of stem cells over 50 years ago in Toronto, scientists are now trying to grow tissues and organs in the lab. Stem cells are powerful cells that can create the cells that make up our tissues and organs. In the body, stem cells help keep us healthy by replacing damaged or dying cells. But there are many different types of stem cells, and they don't all have the same abilities. Embryonic stem cells are a special type of stem cell. They are found in the developing embryo and are able to create every type of cell, whether it's a heart or kidney or skin cell. Because they can make all the cell types in the body, they are called pluripotent. In 2006, it was discovered that we don't need embryos to get pluripotent stem cells. In fact, we can take our body cells, like skin cells, and turn them back into embryonic stem cells in a process called reprogramming. The resulting cell is called an induced pluripotent stem cell, or IPS. But scientists are still working on understanding reprogramming and why only a few cells can do it. My research helps us understand reprogramming by finding new markers. These are like tiny colored flags that show when certain proteins are present or absent. We use markers to track cells as they go through the reprogramming process and to identify the cells that successfully become iPS cells. Once I've found these markers, I use mathematical models to try and predict which starting cells will be the lucky ones to make it through the reprogramming process. These models can help us make important discoveries about stem cell behavior that we wouldn't be able to find by observing them in the dish alone. By better understanding how to control cell behavior, we can design any cell type, making it possible to grow the tissues and organs we need and make waiting lists a thing of the past. Thanks to stem cells, the future is looking brighter for all of us.